News at Noon. I'm glad you're joining us here. A lot to get to, but let's start with that, what's on everybody's mind, which is the Labor Day holiday weekend. Yes, right now, millions of Americans are traveling for the holiday weekend, which comes amid a new surge of cases of COVID nationwide. Now, the CDC says if you are among those planning a trip, take precautions like wearing a mask and put a limit on large gatherings, especially if you're unvaccinated. All right, let's take it out to Tamara Fifanua, who is covering this for us today. Tamara, how are the roads looking so far? Definitely starting to ramp things up here on Utah roads, but whatever your mode of transportation is, you will definitely want to plan ahead. Okay, so let's talk first about if you're planning on hitting the road by car. Well, then your best bet on heading out of town will be uh, around just before one o'clock, so just within the next hour, or you'll want to wait until eight this evening. It's the last holiday weekend of summer. There's going to be so many people trying to get out there, take advantage of the lakes, the camping grounds. And it'll be crowded on Utah roads. All that extra traffic means extra delays, so just plan ahead for that. Most construction projects are on hold, but there are some trouble spots you'll want to avoid. I-15 northbound in Davis County, where there are lane splits, Ogden Canyon, and in Blanding, on your way to Lake Powell. Either plan that extra time or, uh, or take an alternate route. Flying to your destination? It'll be packed. The same time last year, 11,000 people flew out of the Salt Lake International Airport. This year, that number is expected to more than double. Be sure to arrive two hours prior to boarding for flights, and don't forget your face mask. Whether you're flying or driving, just use a little bit of patience, use a little bit of tolerance. We'll all get there safely if we can all do our part. And Utah Highway Patrol putting out the reminders as well. They are going to be stepping up enforcement, ensuring that people are driving safely, buckling up, and putting down those distractions. For KSL News, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. Yep, the key is to keep everybody safe. We want people to get where they want to be, but do it safely. Tamara, thanks.